Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing and review video. So today we have the new Mega Constructs Halo Heroes Series 10. Uh, all of these figures were purchased at Target uh, and retailed for $4.99 a piece. Uh, from left to right, we have the Halo CE version of Master Chief. Uh, next to him, we have the Rookie from Halo ODST. We have Spartan Cat from Reach. We've got Yap Yap the Destroyer, Prophet of Mercy, Tartarus, the Arbiter, the Didact, Noble Six, and then Cortana to, uh, to round out the series. Um, so we'll take a look at Master Chief first. From what I can tell with Master Chief is that this is the exact same um, mold from the Series 8 Heroes line. Uh, the only difference is he doesn't have that like cryo, cryo frost around his um, armor, so it's a little bit cleaner, a little more game accurate. One thing that's nice about with all the, her uh, all the Heroes Series 10 line is they come with these really nice commemorative uh, base plates, which are a little bit different than what they've done before. Uh, very reflective, very nice, and it's a nice addition. In addition to um, the commemorative base plates, all of the Heroes Series 10 uh, accessories for the figures that include weapons are all in that kind of gold paint. So really nice, really nice paint application for this guy. Looks really good. He's definitely a step up from the Series 8 version that we received. Uh, next up is the Rookie, so he was the playable character, one of the playable characters uh, in Halo ODST. This is actually the second time that we have gotten the Rookie. The first one that we got was, um, it was like a $10 set back in the day um, with a little drone, I think it was like the Wombat set or something like that. Um, that was right when the, the new kind of super articulation came in with the Halo line. And then we haven't had a rookie since. So it's nice to be able to see that we have a new rookie um, to kind of, you know, help out with people that are, you know, that have gotten into collecting these figures uh, since that um, initial set. So uh, hopefully if you guys are, you know, collecting the ODST figures, you can round out your team now because the rookie was one of the harder ones to find. Um, next up we have Cat, And so Cat comes similar to Spartan Carter from Series 10. She comes with an alternative head. Uh, so this is the second time that we've gotten Cat as well. She came in a, a set with a, like a Brute Chopper and um, I think it was like a Toys R Us exclusive. I could be wrong about that a few years back. Um, I didn't pick her up, took a pass on it. it wasn't really anything that suit, you know, was very interesting to me, but uh, with seeing her in, you know, the Heroes line as well as having just the, the really premium paint applications commemorative base plate, the cool gold weapons, and then the fact that they did an alternative head for it uh, is what I decided, why I decided to pick them up. Uh, she actually has a really good uh, paint application for her head, so I know that it's a little bit uh, like hit or miss from what I've seen online, but she's got, it will focus. she got, yeah, a very prominent scar under her right eye. Uh, her lips are painted in a kind of a, uh, a darker beige color. Um, her eyes have the, you know, the, they're obviously pinhole eyes, but they painted the backs of them white, so it gives them a little more depth, so it doesn't look as dead. And then a really nice job for the paint application for her hairline. So overall, very good figure. The only gripe that I have for this figure is, like game, um, you know, she has the mechanic arm, right? She's got a prosthetic arm, and unfortunately how Mega has represented that, They've used the Terminator Genesis line, um, like Terminators, like the, you know, in the exoskeleton suits uh, for the arm and it has no articulation. So that's, it swivels, but it does not bend. It does not, you know, swivel at the wrist. So that's a little bit of a letdown. It would have been nice to see them uh, with Series 10 uh, add, you know, additional articulation to that, but it is what it is. Um, next up we have Yap Yap the Destroyer. Um, so this is a, the mold is a newer cell grunt um, that we've had a few times before. So the shell, you know, breaks into its higher, it's better articulation, ball joints at the shoulders, swivel wrists, swivel ankles, and then, you know, the ball joints at the hips as well. Not a whole lot going on with him, um, you know, besides the fact that we've got the, you know, the, the crown, the commemorative base plate, as well as the really nice gold needler. Um, besides that, there's not a whole lot really to him that's different from any of the other grunts with this level of articulation that we're getting. So overall looks pretty good, but it is what it is. Not one of my favorites from the series. Uh, next up we have Prophet of Mercy. So he comes with a flood miner form. 
Um, really nice figure. The you know the the profit figures have always kind of flown off shelves and have been very difficult to collect, especially when you're trying to do it uh, once they're out of production. I profited truth right now. It that thing goes for a ridiculous price. So hopefully, if you are trying to collect the profits, that you're able to find this figure in the store, so you're not paying that premium price. Uh, from a third-party listing, but overall very nice figure. It's a very nice blue undertone um, for his dress uniform um, This is a version 2 flood miner. So this is where the you know, the tentacles and all that are um, That can be removed and whatnot. So um, Nice inclusion always like to have more flood figures and then overall the the face mold isn't very different It's not different from the the profit of truth <laughs> profit of truth, but um, nice figure to have to at least um, next up is Tartarus. So Tartarus was the Halo 2, you know, brute boss, uh, fighting him towards the end of the game. Uh, looks really good. Very game accurate. Um, like they included his hammer, uh, in here as well. Really nice shoulder armor as well on his left bicep area. Overall, this is probably one of my favorite figures out of the set. They did a really good job with the sculpting of him. Um, as well as just, you know, overall articulation, the hammer, he looks really good. If you guys can find this, I would definitely recommend this. Even if you're not like a Halo 2 fan, to say the least, or really know who Tartarus is, it's not hard to, to find out. He's that, that main kind of boss in Halo 2, so, um, very cool. He's also the prophet of truth, I think like, what, second hand man or right hand man or whatever, so, he's got a, a pretty prominent role in the Halo universe for... Uh, you know, a short amount of time at least from the playable games. Next up, probably one of uh, most people's favorites, we have the Arbiter in the Halo 2 uniform. He comes with a um, golden sword, which is nice. Uh, his armor, I mean, everything about this figure just looks absolutely great. I'm a big fan of this figure. This was one of the harder ones to find. I was actually able to find everything um, in one go from one target, and it was actually the Arbiter that I couldn't find for quite a while. So. I am very happy that I was able to find an Arbiter. I was able to pick him up and add him to the collection because this is a very nice piece. Uh, everything on him just looks great. They did a very, very good job on the sculpt for this guy and very happy to have him. Uh, he's got, you know, very, I mean, it's common elite articulation, the three points of articulation into the legs, um, similar human style or, you know, Spartan style biceps and whatnot. And then the armor up here, the only issue that I've seen is on his right shoulder over here. This armor that kind of overhangs the shoulder limits articulation. You can't raise the bicep any further than what it's at right now, which is a little bit of a bummer, but um, it still looks great. So if you're having them for, you know, display, you're not going to really notice it all that much. Uh, next up is the Didact. So this is the same version that we got um, from the initial Halo 4 set that he came uh, in with Master Chief. I can't remember. It was that... Um, I think it was the, that sword spaceship uh, set. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this figure for a lot of reasons, primarily because of the articulation. So they did not update the articulation for this guy from the initial release of the Didact. So he's got the, you know, the really kind of old school style halo uh, joints for the figures that, you know, are, that the peg prominently sticks out. It's very limited articulation. The biceps don't cut more than about a 45 degree angle. The wrists do swivel, but again, they don't really, because of the angle for it, they do not really hold the, you know, accessories very well. So this is the best kind of pose that you can get with him holding a weapon, which is not that great in my opinion, but um, that it is what it is. Uh, he has a little bit of head articulation. Again, if you've seen this figure before, then you know the, the same articulation. Uh, same cuts as the old Mega Bloks version. Um, and then, you know, he's got the knee hinges as well. But overall, pretty disappointed with this. I was really hoping that when they announced that they were doing Didact in Series 10, that they were going to kind of revamp him, uh, give him a new kind of, you know, cut for articulation. But unfortunately, it is what it is. Um, next up is Noble Six. So Noble Six, similar to uh, the rookie, he came out a few years back in a, this one came out like in a Warthog set. But one thing I will say is on the original Noble Six, um, the articula, or not the articulation, but the paint application for the figure wasn't very great. It was, you know, a very dark gray undertone with the, um, you know, black molding for 
his uh, main body, but it really wasn't anything to uh, write home about. With this guy, they've done a really good job with the you know the dual paint applications, really kind of bringing his armor to life. Uh, the visor looks really crisp as well. Uh, they did a really good job with the paint application. If if you have the old version, obviously that's great. But this is, I would say this is more of a definitive version of Noble Six. If you're looking at trying to complete your Noble Team, I would want this version. So I you know I have all of Noble Team together, and so this is the the version that I display with Noble Team because in my opinion, it is the definitive version given the you know additional paint applications, the crisper look. It, he just looks more game accurate and uh, a better representation of Noble Six, in my opinion. So again, he comes with that newer style uh, Reach Assault Rifle and then that commemorative base plate as well. Um, last but not least, we have Cortana in her kind of freak out mode. So this is from the Halo 4 game. Um, and then we also have the Guilty Spark that comes attached with her. Um, so she, similar to the last release that we got from Cortana in Series 5, the only difference is that, like articulation, everything's the same, the mold's the same, the only difference is the, the purple undertone for Cortana. So, you know, the original release that we had for her, and we've had a few releases of Cortana, she comes in that, you know, the, the stereotypical blue um you know paint applications throughout but um so this is the first version that we've got where she's kind of going through that disruptive phase of you know kind of you know kind of falling apart and causing you know master chief some issues but uh and then we have the you know the the bad version of the guilty spark so um she comes packaged with two of these kind of monitors one is translucent and the other one is gold um I don't really know what they're for because uh, she didn't control the Guilty Spark at all. And Guilty Spark had you know, a mind of its own. So um, not really sure the point of those accessories, but overall nice to have um, you know, control panels to say the least. But uh, good looking figure. Uh, you know, it's nice to get you know, obviously another Cortana. It's nice to see the representation of her in this, mo uh, like in this version. So uh, it was a nice addition to the line. Um, when looking at the line as a whole, there's a lot of figures here that I was, you know, a really big fan of, you know, picking up and, you know, primarily I, I already had the, you know, the, you know, first versions of the Rookie and, uh, Noble Six, but with the premium paint applications and the kind of the, the revamp of everything, I wanted to get them because they're nicer versions. When you put them hand in hand against their original, uh, counterparts, they look a lot better. They're more of a definitive version. So, um, that was kind of a, you know, a must have for me, you know, the other parts that was, you know, I was able to kind of close out my noble team with is cat. I had passed on cat the first time from her box set. Um, I was able to get her for $5. So that was able, uh, for me to be able to complete my noble team, uh, with master chief, the CE version. What's nice about this is we're getting him in his, you know, original paint scheme. We're not getting that weird cryo frost paint application on it. Um, this is honestly, this is my opinion, how this figure should have been released back in series eight, but you know, it, it is what it is. We got him now. Um, the rest of the line, uh, you know, we got Yap Yap, we've got the Prophet of Mercy, Tartarus, uh, the Didact, all great figures. Uh, personally, I, if I didn't have a Didact originally, I would have passed on this. But, you know, again, trying to be a completionist, wanting to have all the figures, I decided to pick it up. Um, probably my favorite out of the line would have to be the Arbiter, uh, just because of the, not only like the, I mean, the paint application is great, but the, uh, the sculpt for the figure and his armor, it's, it's a really nice looking figure. They did a really good job with the Arbiter, so I'm very happy with that. Um, besides that, guys, if you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you know, let me know what your figure, like your favorite figure out of the line is, uh, what you're looking forward to. I know that Mega has announced Series 11 at this point, which is supposed to release in December, and they're supposed to do a really nice, um, I think, uh, an overshield version of Master Chief. So there's a few things to look forward to. Uh, with that being said, guys, I don't have a lot else to say about the video, so I'm going to leave you at that, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.